Hai Ok, welcome to my channel uh, Color Color Live Ok, I may have said Color Color Live too many times already But, for today's video, it, it doesn't matter Ok, first things first I would like to thank you all for supporting my channel I hope that you can spread it to your friends, share it to your friends and all that So, for me to improve my number of subscribers because there are more things that I would like to, to show you or share to you uh, but for now uh, what I'm going to show you and would be in terms of the different uh, or how should we say in terms of things that you can do without spending so much to get better audio coming from your laptop or desktop use your using only your, your existing equipment but there are certain things that you may need to add in okay what uh, i did was okay beside the headphone which is one audio pro 30 which i've used it for quite some time it's getting older already okay the protein leather is all have started cracking up uh and then i bought the dolby atmos for headphone okay uh later i will show you the sound different and what's the value that it will give to you okay by having only only spending for dolby at most like less than 10 usd or i bought it for like almost 40 ringgit in malaysia because they got discount uh 50 discount and it give me like superb sound okay that's one second is that uh there will be some some adjustment that you may need to, in term of media player i'm using port player media player uh, to listen to my music and watching videos uh, and the thing is it create like superb sound okay it's it's how shall we say yes i do have fubar 2000 however fubar uh, works better if you have that okay if you have digital audio converter if you have that then it works best okay but if you don't have that uh, what I can suggest to you is uh, use port player okay it's your own preference but I'm using a port player if I'm not using deck so much uh, even if I'm using deck port player at certain extent is it's much better because they have some sort of equalizer and they have the so-called this one feature called free verb okay I'll show you later okay now let's get things started okay in term of music i've selected a few in which let's try and listen with uh the special sound of all your surround sound off okay let's start with this okay let's set the volume at around 40 okay let's start with this song okay as you can hear it it's clear because I'm using equalizer if I don't use equalizer and the song will be a slightly different okay and set the equalizer on because i love using equalizer it's entirely up to you if you don't want to use equalizer fine but uh, there are some adjustments that you need to make minor adjustment in which up to your own preferences when you adjust the so-called uh, in terms of volume and all that okay clearly with uh, this one off oops sorry 
with your special special sound off now let's put Dolby Atmos Now imagine if I put the feature free verb on, it would be even louder. That's one. Second, it will create that on top of your surround sound that being produced by the Dolby Atmos for headphone. It create another surround sound factor. Means it transform your your song as a surround, and then Dolby Atmos would create a so-called another surround sound on top of this surround sound See, I told you, it's even better, far better. Okay, only using port player, and that Dolby Atmos for headphone, the sound produced by your laptop or by your desktop is like wonders. Okay, but you need to have a so-called good headphone. You don't need to spend thousands on headphone. If you have, fine, no problem. But if you don't have, I think like mine one, one audio Pro Thirty will do. It's either Pro Thirty or Maybe Pro Ten with some adjustment, or maybe uh, A seventy. I'm using one audio. I I love one audio because it's very value for money. Okay, you can also use how should we say other type of headphone. Depends entirely up to you, but you might need to do some form of adjustment in terms of the equalizer. The only downside when you are using this option so called to save money, you might need to tweak a bit. Okay, but the end result is that you have a better in terms of sound sound quality and all that. Okay, in which you don't need to spend thousands to get that. It's only less than fifty USD, uh, fifty US dollar, or for me it's less than two hundred ringgit, all together. And the sound produced it's like way better. Okay, now let's try and listen. If I put DTS. feel can you hear the difference okay it's slightly better than if you switch your spatial sound off uh, but it's not as great as Dolby Atmos okay some of you may may not like Dolby Atmos because it's some some sort of like it amplifies everything okay so you you don't how should we say uh, you you can't really feel the music at a certain extent uh, but it depends okay it depends because not everyone uh, appreciate the audio outcome uh, 
not everyone appreciate exactly the same okay some people like it as in like what you listen just now for DTI for me I would love the Dolby at most okay let's try and hear the different between okay let's switch off the reverb the free verb let's make comparison between the three while the music is running okay we start off with off the difference right okay for me but the best is like the fully amplified Dolby Atmos okay DTS not bad but I think the difference between DTS and off with your actual sound card within that bit in in your laptop or desktop the difference is not so much it's very small differences okay by comparison to Dolby Atmos the difference is huge in which you can really feel the different by comparison to like just it's it's something like uh, an amplifier which can produce or can amp up or crank up your volume to five for Dolby at most versus and and ensure that the clarity of the sound is up to five additional five percent or maybe uh, sorry like five points by comparison to DTS that can only increase up to maximum of one or two points okay not to say that it's bad but it's it it's not it doesn't have that that so-called that that intense feeling of like I want to listen to everything okay I can listen to all for Dolby Atmos I can yeah sort of I I it's by being amplified by DTS, but it, it it doesn't give me that punch. Okay, DTS also having the same price. I think for now they are offering like less than ten USD, or uh, in Malaysia it's like forty ringgit. Okay, so but I'm not buying uh, DTS because uh, I've made comparison between the three, and for me personally, Dolby Atmos is still the best. Okay, the only downside if you are using this is the sun setting. Okay, every time you make changes, especially when you switch off and switch on, it will reset. The moment you start switching off, it will reset to 16 bit uh, 48,000 hertz DVD quality. So if you wish to get the best uh, sound you might need to increase it can only go up to the max of 24 bit 48,000 hertz that's it okay when you click apply it will reset to off and you might need to turn it on again okay so that's the only downside in which you you need to like do the things over and over and over again the moment you switch off uh, your how should you say your spatial sound format but other than that 
uh, even though it's very annoying <laughs> for me it's, it's kind of irritating um, but it doesn't matter for me it doesn't matter for me so for me uh, I want to have the great sound but I don't want to spend that much okay uh, not to say I'm rich but I'm quite cheapskate in terms of that okay some people would suggest like okay but buy a better audio headphone buy a better this buy a better that no you spend so much and with only this you get so much so why spend so much when you get so, so much by spending so little okay so that's my catch it's like how small uh, how do I get so much by spending so less I don't want to spend so much to get so less okay some people would opt for that because for them it's like their satisfaction okay I got a great headphones blah 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 and all that fine no problem I don't say that uh, it's wrong but it's entirely up to own preferences okay so if you like that way fine but if you're a cheapskate like me then opt for this option and you get the uh, you get the best one of uh, sound produced not to say perfect but it's almost at par with that the only downside is limited to only your laptop or desktop uh, it's not mobile that's the, the the other downside beside you need to change the the, the format the sound format from 16 bit to 24 bit you might need to okay for we are using Dolby and most for headphone it's only limited to your desktop or laptop that's it uh, it's not mobile so those are the the cons of of having this even the cheapskate mode because it's limited to it it's very static it's not mobile okay but the choice is yours up to you what i can only suggest and review is that okay this will be the option that i'm suggesting okay so till next time okay uh okay before i forget now let's try and have a look at some videos okay i'll make those changes in terms of the spatial sound from off until uh, Dolby Atmos. So, can you see the difference? So, those are the things. Oh, another thing. We bought Dolby Atmos. Okay, say for example, if you bought Dolby Atmos, then you have the option of tweaking the sound to your liking. Okay, they have the game mode. They have the movie mode. And the sound produced is very much different uh, from, from all these forms. They have the music voice okay and they have option where you can custom okay i i would love to custom it in like a v-shape except for the end point uh, for like v-shape so it create it creates something where how should we say uh much better as in like high end and low end okay in terms of mid range eh, sorry high not high end low end it's like high range versus and low range but in terms of the mid range it's somewhere in between okay now you notice that in dolby the dolby ss or dolby atmos what 
you have is the volume leveler okay the volume leveler okay I'll show you the different what's the difference between the two volume leveler okay let's try and listen to this song okay I've switched this one on now this one need to change it again which is very annoying okay 24 bit apply yes blah blah blah, blah. Okay, let's change this to Dolby Atmos. Okay, what's the difference between volume leveler on and volume leveler off? Okay, let's enable off. different is because volume leveler act also like volume normalizer however the good thing about Dolby Atmos it doesn't fluctuate that much okay because this software actually can really detect like with not to say a very large buffer but it's something like they have the the ability to like uh, recheck the whole file before adjusting to the proper volume that you need to listen to and it's very stable even though you have the volume normalization or volume level on it's very stable compared to other software or other media player where the moment you switch on volume uh, normalizer like this sport player sport player also got their own normalizer uh, this one normalizer if you enable then you it, it will fluctuate up down up down and then you can listen the sound like going up then going down the volume like going up going down going down going up and it gives you kind of a headache however for Dolby Atmos you don't have that headache that's one uh, <laughs> but the good thing is that it's very stable even though it normalize the volume it's very stable so uh, even though the song like very bassy very punchy and all that you don't you don't really uh, listen to that so-called volume up and down okay it also depends on your processor as well so if you have good laptop and desktop you don't hear the difference I'm not sure about those so-called old processor or maybe like uh, yeah the old processor maybe you might have some differences but uh, the one that I'm currently using I don't I don't really listen to any differences so for me personally it's like it's 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 great okay uh, I don't have much disturbance in terms of sound and it crank up the volume a bit it give better clarity etc 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 so I'm fully satisfied I'm a very satisfied Dolby at most customer <laughs> okay not to be biased but yeah I think the truth prevail for me it's like i'm really into this dolby atmos okay thank you all for watching okay i hope you get uh, you got a great reviews and and uh, suggestion which i gave to you i think till next time let's uh, i'll try and make another another good video for your own benefit which create more values to you but I wish that you could subscribe to my channel, uh, share it to your friends, as it will. I'll try to make ben uh, things that benefit all of you. Okay, you can also suggest in the comments below uh, what video that uh, I should make. Uh, till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you all for your support.
okay bye